Last time I did one of these, you seemed to like it. And I, I need that. I need you to like me. I crave your validation constantly. It fuels and sustains me. Did you write this? And you seem to be asking for more content like this, like the bang content hyenas that you are. So as I promised in the how I pack video, this is what I pack. Now this list was honed over nearly a million miles of travel. So if it's in my bag, it has well and truly earned its place there. The bag itself. Well, you know what I use in my overhead bin? We've been over that a lot. This is my under seat bag, my personal item, if you will. It's the Air, A-E-R, weirdly, uh, duffel pack. It is ostensibly a gym bag, but it's been my carry-on for six and a half years. This is the original iteration. Uh, I think they've done two more after this. I love it. It's tough as hell. It's got a bunch of nooks and crannies, pockets for laptops, bags. Um, everything I could possibly want can fit in here. The zips have never failed on me. It's gone everywhere. I beat the hell out of it. This has passed the test that so many other bags have failed. So this is what everything goes in. Noise canceling headphones. These are the Bose Quiet Comfort 35-2. I bought these on a whim. I think you were there, Greg. Uh, when, at an airport once when my uh, last headphones decided to throw up all over themselves in security. And I've never looked back. These are quite literally life-changing. They are the gold standard for every road warrior everywhere. I don't like in-ear noise canceling. It freaks me out. My wife has the AirPod Max Turbo Platinum Premium, whatever they're called, and they're fine. I have my AirPods as well, and they're great, but these, the noise canceling is unbelievable. It's, yeah, I can adjust it so I can hear the announcements, which I like to do at the beginning and end of flights. It has adapters for IFE. Those are absolutely crucial. You can't travel without those. Not being able to listen to the, to the IFE is great. They're very comfortable and you can replace the cushions for want of a better word very, very easily and cheaply. I will not travel without these things. The 2020 MacBook Air, so the M1 chip, easily the best laptop I have ever owned replaces easily the worst laptop I have ever owned, the 2017 MacBook Pro, the one with the butterfly keyboard. Garbage, heavy, underpowered, useless battery, unusable keyboard. I hate that thing so much. This, however, light enough to not give me old man back, battery that will last all day, and enough power to deal with anything that I can throw at it. This is the best laptop I've ever owned iPad, the MacBook Air doesn't always come with me, but this, the iPad Pro, always does. It's older, it's 2018, but it still works brilliantly. It's got a bright, beautiful screen. I mainly watch it for watching stuff, but with this fancy keyboard that Apple came up with, I can do pretty much any administrative work, work on scripts for episodes, that type of thing. Uh, battery lasts for flipping ever as well. Beautiful, crisp screen, so this never leaves my side when I'm traveling. This neat little episode is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. Now, this is a very easy sponsorship for me to do because it's a product, yet again, that I already use. Now, if I'm being completely honest, I have a history of ridiculous wallets. Same old cycle. I would go and buy a sensible wallet and very quickly it would get bigger and bigger and bigger until it looked like this. This is my old wallet. A little bit like sitting on a leather bound brick at this point. No more, because I use one of these, a Ridge wallet. It is holding the same amount of cards somehow, but yet it is a quarter of the size. In fact, it holds up to 12 cards somehow, uh, which is rather magical almost, and it's got this wonderful little spot on the back for cash. It's made of very robust material, so it's almost Alex proof. In fact, it's backed by a lifetime warranty, so you can put that to the test. It comes in 30 different styles and colors. And if you visit ridge.com slash attache, that's ridge.com slash A-T-T-A-C-H-E, you can get up to 40% off a Ridge wallet or key case through December 22nd. So go, people, 
Buy one of these. No more sitting on leather-bound bricks. Let's save those derrieres. Moving away from tech for a second, I never travel without these. Eye mask, not iron mask, and earplugs. Economy flights, you never seem to get these anymore, even if it's a long haul overnight trip. So I always pack them with me. If I'm going short haul, I still pack them because you never know if your hotel neighbors are going to be aggressively noisy or the curtains aggressively opaque. These never, ever, ever, ever leave my bag. So no matter where I go, I harvest these from every amenity kit that's given to me and grab a new set when I take off on every trip. A few years ago, a very generous family member gave me a Nintendo Switch for my birthday. Wonderful, perfect for those long haul flights. Light, fun, easy to use. But I have three children, so my Nintendo Switch very quickly became their Nintendo Switch. No problem because I bought myself a Nintendo Switch Lite. Even better, even more portable, just as fun. But I have three kids, so very soon, my Nintendo Switch Lite became their Nintendo Switch Lite. So I got myself one of these, a Steam Deck, and they will pry this thing from my cold, dead hands. This is an extraordinary device. I've had it for about six months now. It lets me play pretty much any game that you can get on Steam, PC games, even AAA games like Red Dead Redemption, which I'm completely obsessed with, as well as every game that's ever been made for any console from my youth. So a lot of nostalgia involved. This thing doesn't come on every trip, but if it's gonna have a long haul flight, I'm absolutely bringing this. Battery pack. This is the ZMI Power Pack 20,000. Found it on the wire cutter, wirecutter.com, which is my go-to resource for anything technological. It has 20,000 milliamp hours of charge available, USB-A, USB-C. This has saved me on a number of occasions. It will charge a MacBook Air from dead to full, which is pretty amazing capacity-wise. This is always in my bag. AirTags. I have several of these scattered about my person at all times. I've got one in my carry-on bag, my overhead bag, any check bag that I carry with me, one in my Steam Deck case. The app on uh, whatever iOS device you're using is super easy to use. They're not that expensive, but they are a great insurance policy against lost or stolen luggage. Extremely useful little investment. I always throw this in my carry-on, even if I'm not 100% sure it's ever gonna see the light of day. The Osmo Pocket. Got a three axis gimbal, shoots in 4K at 60 frames a second. Some of the footage that I've shot on this has ended up in episodes like, like Delhi and a few others. It's great for, for on the move. And paired with the Rode Wireless Go mics, which are amazing and not expensive little things, it makes for quite a potent vlogging rig. If I ever vlogged. <laughs> If I'm traveling for a speaking gig, which alongside Attaché is really the main reason I travel, I always carry this cable bag. It has every manner of adapter I would ever need to get my presentation onto the venue's big, beautiful screens. I even have my own clicker, because I'm a turbo cool guy. I either use purpose-made cable bags, like this very basic Amazon Basics one, or recycled airline amenity kits, of which I have several hundred thousand kept and they're perfect for this type of thing so they switch up depending on how many cables or they're all categorized because I'm that much of a nerd but cheap way to do that. While it usually stays in my pocket it's probably worth mentioning my phone I use an iPhone I just upgraded from a dilapidated iPhone 10 to an iPhone 14 Pro I think that's all it is max I don't know uh, it's great I dig it we all love iPhones that's not really worth talking about but the case is this is a quad lock it was um, recommended to me by my friend don it has a universal mount which you can put on bikes motorcycles uh, armbands which is what i use it for uh, which is really really clever i've never i've been worried about it falling off or getting damaged and the, the case itself is robust enough to be relatively alex proof which is hard and last but not least passports 
both of them never in a case because that's lame and inconvenient. So that's it. That is what goes in my carry-on for nearly every trip. No one paid to be there. That's legitimately and really what I bring with me. I've put recommended links in the show notes below. Take a look. Let me know what you think. If you bring something in your bag that is particularly important to you or invaluable, please let me know in the comments below.